Hey guys, Keith again with Bulletproof RC. This is my Traction Hobby Founder trail truck and want to catch you guys up on where I'm at. Uh, back when I purchased this vehicle, back at Christmas time, I went in and ordered a clear body for this vehicle. Uh, I procrastinated painting it for a good while simply because when I got it I realized there was no window mask. Uh, no mask for the headlights or blinkers in the front end. No mask for the uh, the grill or anything. So all that had to get a little had to get a little creative with it. Um, luckily, I found out that a quarter <laughs> a coin was perfect for the headlights. So I made a template on masking tape with a quarter. Cut that out, and it worked out perfectly. And the end of a fine tip sharpie um, pin actually wound up being the correct diameter for the blinker. So. I was able to make my masking tape templates with those, but I had to cut this grill out. As you can see, it has a Fox radiator behind it, and uh, either uh, the original body was actually just masked off and it was clear Lexan over it. I like it cut out better, but it was a little bit of work uh, to get all those uh, slits cut out, but with a little bit of patience and a uh, Dremel tool, it's not impossible and as far as the windows I decided to use the uh, decal sheet that comes with the vehicle uh, they give you decals for the exterior of the body um, I guess to tint the windows a little bit but I don't like the way those look so I used them on the inside as mask and it worked out pretty good I was a little concerned about paint bleeds and everything but it worked great so if you do pick up a Traction Hobby Founder body, or uh, any other body for that matter, and you don't have window mask, but you got exterior window decals, you can use them as mask. So it worked out pretty good. Uh, this is Tamiya Metallic Blue, back with silver. Um, as you can see, the top and the bottom is two different pieces here, and it's iridescent. It's at, at different angles. Uh, the blue looks different colors, but it is the same. It's just, uh, like I said, from this angle right here, it looks like the blue is a little darker here than it is here, but you get it in the correct angle, if I can do it, it looks the same. So, a little weird there, but other than that, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Went with the uh, wheels and tires. It was off my Yeti, uh, which is the Proline um, flat iron tires. There we go. <laughs> Had to remember what those were called. I uh, got Proline dual stage foams inside. These are uh, KMC Bully style wheels, 2.2s. Uh, got wheel weights behind there, as you can see. And um, turned out pretty good. Pretty happy with the overall look. And um, yeah, painted the interior uh, black and then used the included decals that came with the body. Didn't get all fancy on the inside of the, bot the uh, interior or anything like some folks do, but. Um, I don't really like running this rig without the lid on it simply because the floorboards don't go down It's kind of as you can see they they're not deep and it really looks very fake with the lid off So anyway, I didn't want to spend too much time on the interior. I know I know I'm gonna get comments about this NOS bottle in here <laughs> Who runs a NOS on their uh, on the crawler? Well, you know, I know it's a little silly, but had this NOS bottle laying around and man, it just looked pretty good sitting there on that roll cage in the back. And to me, it's no dumber than having a wrestler <laughs> driving your vehicle. So anyway, teach his own, right? Uh, you can got a spare back there too. But yeah, this is a great vehicle. I've had a great deal of fun with it. I've failed to break anything on this vehicle. Um, if you're new to Traction Hobby products, uh, the founder, um, I picked the Founder over the Craigsman simply because the Founder is a better built vehicle right out of the box. Uh, the Craigsman, you're going to have to spend some time to upgrade it through time. Um, they're, they're finally releasing aluminum parts for the Craigsman. But the Founder comes out of the box with a single speed transmission, but everything is all aluminum and carbon fiber. And it's just super nice. I'm not going to pull the body off if you're interested in the Founder. Check out my earlier videos and I do pull the body and show you 
the electronics I'm running and also all of the alloy and carbon fiber parts that this vehicle comes with. But anyway, um, I guess that'll do it for this video, guys. just want to show you the body. And um, as always, like and subscribe to Shoe Fits, my friends. Have yourself a great day.